What's going on everyone, it is Mark here with another video and today we have another highly requested video, an updated EDC. So recently, if you've seen the past couple videos, you may have seen that I've reviewed the backpack that potentially may have taken over the role of my EDC backpack or the everyday backpack that I use. So that switch has been made and that backpack is what I'm using. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. But for now, why don't we go through some of the most important tech items that I have in my backpack and, and, um, and, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I think the most important thing that is in my kind of everyday kind of carry situation is the beast behind the channel. The computer that lets all of this happen this is my 2017 MacBook Pro 15 inch with touch bar. This thing is an absolute beast. This allows me to, to edit these videos, make these videos as efficiently as humanly possible, or well, I mean there's more powerful computers, but this is the perfect fit for me. Plus, it lets me play a little bit of Fortnite when, uh, when editing gets a little bit tedious. So this is the powerhouse. I'll list a bunch of the specs out there. It's the Space Gray version. I think it looks fantastic. This is pretty much a fully loaded MacBook Pro, just the only thing I didn't opt into getting was a bigger SSD, just because I store most of my things kind of not locally, it's all on portable hard drive. So I really didn't need that much space, but everything else is fully upgraded. Um, this is the beast, I love this thing. Again, if you guys follow the channel, you know my love for this device right here, the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. This is the first generation, came out in November of 2015, I believe. Apple Pencil from the same date. This right here is the reason why I graduated university. No, not because it really kind of made me take better notes. My notes were always fantastic. It was just, I became very, very efficient in doing, you know, my homework, my research, all of that stuff, because you had everything together. Plus, it kept me interested and motivated to keep making nice notes. I'll show you some of my notes right now. They were fantastic. Some of the best apps I have on this, um, Notability, the biggest one, uh, Get Rid of Mail, start using Outlook, and uh, Procreate. Those are the three that I use on a regular, regular basis. It's a fantastic machine. I cannot get over how amazing this device really is. If you haven't seen any of my videos about this, I'll leave a bunch of links down below. This is a powerhouse. If you're a student, a young professional, an older professional, um, this is amazing. If you're looking for a Netflix machine, uh, maybe don't get the Pro. The Pro features really don't enhance Netflix. The Pro features really enhance using this device on a day-to-day -day basis. I highly recommend it. And that kind of concludes the bigger items that, that go into my backpack at that time. Now it's all the miscellaneous things. When I say miscellaneous, they all have a value and a purpose in the bag. Let's start off with my Sony headphones. These right here are the Sony MDR-1000X. I think I got that right. MDR-1000X, ching I know my headphones. Um, Sony recommendation, uh, maybe make the names a little bit more simple and easy to remember. Other than that, these are amazing noise canceling headphones, a very good sound profile. They're slightly different than Bose. Uh, they're very comparable to the QC35 uh, range, price point, and kind of all around headphones. I'm a bigger fan of the Sony kind of sound profile. Uh, Bose to me sounds a little bit um, a little bit off. They're amazing headphones, don't get me wrong. I just, maybe, maybe I'm just biased because I've always had Sony headphones. But yeah, I really like these. They're very comfortable, great for long listening, great for flights, great noise cancellation. When you're listening to things, it's actually surprising how little you hear about the world outside of your little headphones there. Some of the features that I really like about these headphones is one, noise cancellation, amazing, like I said. Using the right ear cup as kind of a gesture pad, uh, going up in volume, switching to next song, previous, and actually cupping the right headphone, and, and you get to hear the ambient noise around you, and, and you don't necessarily have to take off the headphone. It's, it's a really good feature, huge fan of these. Highly recommend them if you are looking for headphones. Next, another pair of headphones. These right here are my Apple AirPods. The reason I have both is because these are kind of when, when I'm sitting, chilling, um, kind of not really on the go, not very mobile. The reason I have these is because when I'm on the go, um, I need something in and out very, very quickly. Huge fan of these. These, of course, sound way better, um, and they're they're obviously significantly more expensive. These are also expensive, a little bit unnecessarily expensive. These aren't really the same, they don't fulfill the same purpose. Th these are perfect for like the, the phone call quick, easy, you're walking around the office, uh, you're walking around the house. These are for like listening to music. These obviously do sound great, but, but different purpose, different, 
different mission statements, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Well, because this laptop that I use is the new uh, MacBook Pro, which doesn't have any sort of real ports, I always carry three dongles around with me. One of them being an SD card reader. Very important, especially if you're doing any sort of content creation and, and you have things stored. Uh, on SD cards. One of these is just straight USB-C to USB, traditional, old school. Uh, and then this is kind of one of the powerhouses that I kind of use on, the, on a day to day. It's got a USB, uh, HDMI, and another USB-C where you can actually power your device. I, I've noticed that using this USB-C to power it, you don't get as fast to charging and depending on what you're doing, sometimes your, your percentage of, of battery life is stagnant. My recommendation is just not to use that for power. You can power it and it works when, when you're not doing very heavy, intense stuff. If you're like playing video games or doing some any hardcore video editing, maybe just use a dedicated USB-C port. You got four of them. So mouse on the go. Apple Magic Mouse. Um, I usually use the Logitech. This is just so thin and portable. I like a lot of the features about it, the swiping, uh, going back and forth between full-size apps, browser pages, all that fun stuff. This is a very, very efficient mouse. I'm a huge fan. A lot of people don't like the, the ergonomics of it, but uh, I really like this mouse. Period. The end. This is a notebook. This is where you write things down physically. Um, the reason I have both the iPad and this is, to me, again, they serve different missions, different points of these devices. Uh, this is very technical, very quick, very kind of efficient and, and good. But this is more traditional when you're brainstorming at a coffee shop. You know, you wanna get that highlighter out, the feel of paper, get that paper cut. I actually have one on my thumb right now. Huge fan of this. And to go with that, you need the world's best pens. These are Muji pens, 0.38. They have a bunch of colors. And I've actually converted a ton of people to become Muji fanatic. They also have a great one where it's like the three three color clicker. You can choose your colors. Ugh, these pens literally are light. I am passionate about that pen. Um, and then and then the, the rest are kind of uh, miscellaneous, even more miscellaneous than the miscellaneous items. Power cord for the computer. Lightning cable. This is this is the longer one. I really enjoy the longer one. It doesn't make me feel so restrained. I could you know. And I usually just feed this off my laptop. Power brick for the MacBook Pro. And the last thing is my cell phone. Um, right now I'm rocking the uh, iPhone 10. 64 gigabyte space gray. Um, this is usually naked. More and more I've been using a case and that case would be the leather Apple one. Uh, I bought this the same time I bought this but it, I never really used it at the beginning. I just really enjoy how this phone feels and looks when, when there's nothing on it. So that's all the things that go into my backpack and now your question is what backpack do you use Mark? Um, this is the backpack of choice at the current moment. This is the Air Tech Pack. I made a dedicated video for this backpack, so I'm not gonna get into too many details, um, but some of the key features that I really like. The front, aesthetics, very, very nice. It's self-standing. It doesn't have to lie down on the ground. It takes up less space and it's easier to get things out of it. Great organization. They got cubbies everywhere. Dedicated laptop sleeve. Dedicated, you know, little area for notebooks. And I put my iPad in there. Um, very, very good. Very, very solid. I'll leave, of course, a link down in the description. Um, but yeah, they're, they got two handles. Very well built. Very comfortable. Thing looks great. Huge fan. Organization. Anyways, so that's everything that goes into my backpack and my backpack. Basically, anytime I leave the house with any sort of tech or my laptop, if I'm, not, if I'm going for a stroll with a girlfriend, no, I'm not gonna bring this. But if I'm leaving the house with tech and a, and a purpose and to do work, this is, this, is, this is what comes with me. So if you see me at a Starbucks, I will have all of this. That's pretty much a guarantee. If you see me, quiz me on it. Be like, where is your iPad and I'll be like over oh, right here or be like where is the SanDisk SD card reader and I'll say well let me quickly get it for myself standing air tech pack all right guys so I hope you liked that video if you did please hit that like share and subscribe button down below and for additional brownie points please follow me on all my social media links can be found down in the description as always but for now Thank you, and I will see you on the next one. Oh, uh, before before that, uh, shameless plug, uh, because of all this YouTube kind of issues that we're having, subscribing uh, and, and all that monetization kind of stuff, it would really help me out if you guys hit that bell button uh, somewhere in the corner. I don't know where it's gonna be on the screen right now, but if you hit that notification button, uh, it really kind of helps me out. There's been a huge issue with subscribers not getting notified that a video is out. Um, if, if you click that, you will, you will get an email or a notification that you know I released the video that would greatly help me out uh, and, and again thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one